watching the Danny Set channel and I was thinking about doing a little review about the three days of the Netherlands Death Fest um, from this year. It was in the beginning of March and I will separate it from day to day. And yeah, it just normally started um, in the morning. I just uh, drove to my friend who was going with me and uh, collected him and then we just drove all the way up from um, South Germany to um, Netherland and, and uh, to the beautiful city of Tilburg. Checked in the hotel, yeah, get comfortable in the room, get a little bit drunk and then drove with the bus uh, to the venue. It's a venue 013 for podium in the middle of the main center of Tilburg. Really cool venue when they changed it a little bit the last years. Um, the, last, the last time I was there before was in 2011 for Neurotic Death Fest and then they I think 2012, 2013 was the last neurotic. And then they closed it for one year for like renovating and stuff, and changed the uh, you know uh, the stages and everything and the interior and stuff. And yeah, they came back uh, like last year 2015 with, with uh, called um, Netherlands Deathfist instead of Neurotic Deathfist. And um, I, I couldn't attempt to there, but this year we were. And yeah, they changed the stage. Everything was fine inside everything looked new and like all the arrangement of the bars um, and um, like they, they have uh, in every setting they have balconies to watch from above and they have a bar like everywhere to get drinks and stuff that was really cool and really comfortable to see the shows and get around with people and have some talks and stuff and um, yeah really can't complain about that and the sound everything was great and um, the only thing to complain about is the pricing in the Netherlands about drinking, um, they have this coin system. You throw in like money bills and then you get some coins out of it. And like for two coins you get a beer, a big beer. Uh, but it's not even a half liter. And yeah, I think this beer is about five euro thirty, something like that. So it's really, really expensive, I think, in my opinion. Um, but instead of that, everything was great from the sound. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going through. I have um, the set list here for my mobile. and. I will just go through what we watched um, on the, on the um, different days. Uh, on the first day, I was uh, started with Collision. And some, some um, songs from Sick of Sidipi. And yeah, it was more grindy stuff, really cool to enjoy. And. Um, also then, finally, came Exhumed on stage, on the main stage, and I was really happy to see these guys again. I think the last time was three years ago, and I'm always happy to see them. Um, I just, uh, I've been a fan since, I think, 2000, 2001, something like that. And um, yeah, always love the band and see them live. They're really killing it. Also watched some songs of Discharge, it's really cool. And then Brodequin uh, came up before, and they um, really killed it, uh, like always. Really cool show and really straight. Also with the with a um, real life drummer uh, this time. Uh, he's uh, Jan. He's so young, but he did a really good job. And I also uploaded a song to my channel. I can show you here also in some samples. And after that, Gorgasm was on, and Gorgasm was tight as fuck, like always. And um, they really know how to play live, and all this harmonic between the musicians is just incredible. I always love to see them live. And then um, we watched a little bit, you know. Um, of Repulsion, the last song going on was really cool, old school death grind stuff. And then we watched uh, Terrorizer, but um, Terrorizer was not that much good. Uh, I didn't like it too much. And then we went to see some songs from Wormrod, and Wormrod last year was my um, favorite grind city of the year. That's really great, um, like this Asian influenced old school of Rycor. Just love that one. 
Um, yeah, then Blood Wolf was coming up. Uh, Blood Wolf made a really cool show, real sound, um, good, good selection of songs. Uh, and I was just enjoying the show. <laughs> that yeah we were trying to get back to the hotel but no bus was driving and we were t trying to get a taxi but they wanted for three and a half kilometers they want like 40 euro to drive us we said fuck it <laughs> and we just walked for an hour <laughs> to get home yeah, and get to sleep uh, the next day uh, you know just started more classical get up breakfast coffee drinks and <laughs> after we get comfortable we just drove with the bus again um, to the stage um, yeah, we missed one bus, so we couldn't see a disavowed, that was really sad, but um, yeah, before the next band came up, we were just going around the venue and, and checked it out again, some merch stuff, and it was really cool. Uh, and yeah, the first band we really to see was um, Carnival de Prosopis, some of the end songs, and yeah, they were with their slammy uh, South American style, they always killing it, and yeah, it was pretty cool and groovy. After Malignancy was also really great. Um, I also recorded a song of them. Um, I loaded it up. Was really enjoying it. I'm always to see them. Life is really, really a good experience. Yeah, I watched uh, some songs of Antigama. I, I love this Polish band. Um, I, I don't know, I think the first city I bought back in 2006, something like that. Uh, yeah, I was also a big fan of that. And also, um, we are watching Merckskog before. Merckskog, uh, I bought uh, um, the CD called Death Machine, which, which is still one of my favorite CDs back from the 2000 era. I bought it and it came out, I think it was in 99 or 2000. Uh, and I was really, I don't want to tell it influence pretty much by it, but um, they really gave me something back in the day when I was just 15, 16 and um, getting into more this more brutal music and yeah it was a really great show. Also we watched Suter, uh, which is a black metal band. And yeah, it was a uh, really freshing, freshing up mixture um, because like they have these brutal bands and then they have these, these brutal black metal bands, like both well, are this mixture from the lineup at the Never Neverland Death Fest and that was really, you know, um, it don't get boring if you just see Slam or something like that, so it keeps it interesting to have some different bands playing after another. <laughs> And also watched um, the you know the Impet Nazarene some songs and then we went over to Defeated Sanity, playing their Damata set list. Was really cool. Um, we have get some you know more progressive stuff and see this band playing some others with another singer as well. Um, yeah, I also recorded I think a couple minutes um, of the show. It's really cool to see that. Oh, wait, yeah, And yeah, we watched some Sinister, some Niflheim, Impert, Nazaran, all the mixture, really cool old school bands, um, really like that. And also some uh, good songs and um, yeah, then we went to Gorgorov because my friend who was with me there is a really, really uh, big Gorgorov fan. Yeah, I was yeah, enjoying it, but I'm not that big much a fan. But uh, for me, it was a good black metal show. And that was about it from the second day. And then, uh, yeah, we, we would just went home um, to the hotel and get some sleep. The third day um, started like the second day. <laughs> get up, breakfast, take a shit, get drunk. <laughs> and yeah, then um, went to the venue. And yeah, we made it um, to the opening show of Embryonic Devourment. I recorded also a song of them, uh, just with my mobile. But they really, really get was really great because they have a lot of this technical stuff inside of their songs and I, I was really digging that, it was really cool. And after 
that um, we also went and stay um, to the other stage, to the Patronat stage, and the Patronat stage is over the over the street in some old church, and we just went up some stairs up, and um, there are some old church windows and everything, and some little balcony with a bar where it's really with decorated with old school stuff and some really old school chairs and everything is really cool. Uh, yeah, the funny thing and like in that venue we let play like a lot of the underground black metal bands and <laughs> it was really cool that to see that with that surrounding it was really just fitting played it in an old church I was really loving to see that and, and like the band regard Le Hom Tombea and for Death Row um, I really liked that um, these bands to see them live and also they brought like a good atmosphere from the songs and um, also the band After Wastum um, I was pretty digging that good shows um, also of the atmosphere from the black metal stuff I watched then Demolition Hammer and Demolition Hammer was the band of the night on the third day they definitely nailed it. Just they just nailed it. Uh, it was from the first to the beginning the groovy uh, treading part and just on point, great live sound and you just bang your head and go crazy in the pit when they played. It's just just a per perfect set. It's not much more to say. It was just a perfect set. Um, also some songs of Dead Infection we watched and um, a little bit of Footed Mayonnaise but um, we, we mixed a little bit um, also watched Trypticon. Trypticon was a really variated set uh, and also some good atmosphere and um, there was some different kind of music, good mixture of music and like death metal, atmospheric, uh, less than doom and everything and some experimental stuff. Um, so it was a really uh, a fresh up um, for the night for Above Plate. And yeah, I was, what I enjoyed most, most about Abbath was that um, he played a lot of, you know, old um, Immortal songs uh, that I like really the most because I'm a Immortal fan since, I don't know, 98, something like that. And um, so it was really, really nice um, to see um, playing him these songs back in the day. I was also, um, like 2002 or 2003, I was in the one of the Say Goodbye tours of Immortal where they played with Hypocrisy, the tour. Um, yeah, I was also enjoying that, but then they came back, made another album, then they broke up again. Um, but I've, if you see Abaf playing also, um, he, you know who really wrote the most of the songs because Abaf's songs is pretty much it's really the same than the Immortal stuff. Um, just some very variation in, uh, in it, but not much. And yeah, it was a, just a good show some new songs, some old songs, and uh, great sound, and making some fun on stage, and yeah, it was just a good one. And after that, uh, we just went home to get a bus, uh, to get some sleep, and drive home, back home to Germany. That's about it. It was a great festival and we were enjoying it and also um, I already booked the hotel for next year. Um, yeah, I was hoping to get my camera next year inside this year. I wasn't allowed, sadly, so I don't have much and also not pretty much good material for my mobile. And yeah, hope, hopefully next time it will be better. Hope to see you all there. Just if you see me, just get to me and talk to me, whatever, get a beer, whatever you want. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. You're in the